Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP top projects and in this video we'll learn SAP HANA top project. So you might already know what is HANA. HANA is a product of SAP which stands for high performance analytic appliance. So SAP HANA is basically a multi-model database that stores data in its memory instead of keeping it on a disk. So when we compare a memory and a disk, memory is like RAM, random access memory. And you might know that the RAM is faster than hard disk. So in, in that way, you can understand how exactly the HANA will perform. So we have curated a list of top 10 projects. If you are a HANA developer, you might have already created HANA database. On top of that, you might have created HANA CDS. And on top of that, you have created, you know, services of HANA that can be accessed by SAP UI5 applications or SAP Fury applications or any third party like SAP SAC, etc. So in these projects, you can ex actually explore more and extend your knowledge base so that you are more competent in SAP HANA projects. So the very first project is SAP HANA Real-Time Analytics. So with SAP HANA, business can analyze large volumes of data in real time since it's a real-time database, right? This allows business to gain insights into their operations, optimize processes and make more informed decisions quickly and efficiently. So we have also created an article for you and in that article you can find these projects, these projects implementation and references. So those links are already added in the description of the video. So you can always visit that link and see the projects and create by yourself. So the second project that is uh, planned is data warehousing. So data warehousing is something that uh, can be used by SAP HANA to create a data warehouse and that can handle large volumes of data. So the, these data is something related to the warehouses data, right? But when we say warehouses data, it means there will be, will be a lot of master data. There will be a lot of transaction data, right? And this allows business to gain insights into their operations and optimize processes and certainly improve decision making. The third one is this uh, predictive analytics. So SAP HANA business can use uh, predictive analytics to forecast future trends and identify potential business of, of you know business threats and opportunities. So certainly we have to use a multiple layer on top of SAP HANA. Uh, like we need to use AI modeling tools. We need to use the ML features to use this predictive analytics features. But the database underlying those features will be SAP HANA. The next part is Internet of Things. So Internet of Things is certainly that needs an external device that it device generates some data and that is also you know large volume data that is required to be stored somewhere in real time. So SAP HANA can be used to handle large volumes of data generated by IoT devices and this can help business to optimize their operations, reduce cost and improve customer experience. So the next part is machine learning. So we have already discussed one aspect where you use the predictive analytics, right? So for that, we need a machine learning and SAP HANA can be used to develop machine learning models that can help a business automate processes, optimize operations, gain insights from data. And this will certainly help business to identify patterns, anomalies and trends that can lead to more informed decisions. And very next section is SAP uh, fraud detection. So actually SAP provides fraud detection management uh, system and that system is powered by SAP HANA and with SAP HANA business can detect and prevent fraud in real time. So this can involve business to protect their assets, improve compliance and reduce risk. So certainly this requires a lar large amount of database for a large amount of data that is certainly coming from a large location. So SAP HANA is divided in different CDN networks and in the, those lakes uh, data is stored. So in real time, the fraud detection technology runs on SAP HANA database. The very next section is customer experience. So actually when SAP HANA was not there, SAP was using SAP and Oracle based database. So RY3 was running on Oracle and the user experience was very worst. So the speed of uh, transactions of data was very low and to improve that perspective, 
SAP came with a multiple uh, technology shift. The very first one was SAP HANA in database. Then in middleware, they use SAP OData technology. And in the front end, they have used SAP UI5 and Fury. So with all these technology combined, the customer experience has improved a lot. So this uh, can help business to improve customer experience, loyalty, and retention. The next project is supply chain optimization. So, so SAP HANA can be used to optimize supply chain process by analyzing data from multiple sources. So supply chain is a chain where you know you track everything that goes into a supply. So from the creator to the manufacturer to the supplier and to the you know warehouses. So all these tracking can be done using SAP HANA. And with this SAP HANA technology, a large amount of data can be traced and end-to-end -end analysis can be performed on each points so this can help business to reduce cost improve delivery times and increase efficiency the very next section is financial planning and analysis so again sap hana can be used to develop financial plannings and analysis applications that can help business to manage budgets track expenses and forecast future trends so this can help business to make informed decisions and stay ahead of the competition. Certainly for a financial database, a large amount of data is required to be stored and SAP HANA is very competent in that aspect. The very next section is SAP Healthcare Analytics. So SAP HANA can be used to analyze healthcare data to improve patient outcomes, reduce cost and optimize operations. So this can help healthcare providers to identify trends and patterns in patient data, monitor patient health and improve the quality of care. So when we discuss a patient data, so a large amount of data is required to be stored for each individual patient and for each of them, a large amount of analytics is required to be created, right? And based on that, a virtualization is created for doctors and other physicians. So Overall, SAP HANA provides a powerful platform for, for businesses to gain insights into their operations and certainly optimize process, reduce cost and improve decision making. So with its real time analytics and capabilities, data warehousing, predictive analytics, machine learning, IoT capabilities that we have discussed, business can leverage SAP HANA to stay ahead of the competition and transform their operations. So I believe this video is very helpful to you and we'll meet in another video. Thank you.